What a way to start out the morning. This guy gonna run? He's taking his time. It's an awesome way to start out the morning. Did you guys see that deer? When I pulled up upon that deer, it was right in the middle of the road. I was hoping a car was not gonna come around the corner and uh, make it roadkill. So uh, that did not happen, thank God. I uh, kind of scared him back off into the woods. And uh, we're gonna start another adventure. So welcome to the adventures of Daddy and Bella. It is seven o'clock in the morning, which is way too early for me for a day off. So uh, we're gonna kind of repeat an adventure from earlier in the weekend. Um, we're gonna go to the balloon festival. And the reason why I decided to go back was because on Friday when I went up there to film, I don't feel like I got enough footage of what I was looking for. So it was a lot of dark footage. I noticed that the sound quality wasn't that great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up there again. We're gonna film that all over again. But we're gonna film it during the day so everybody can see the balloons and also everybody can see the event. Because I also didn't get much of the area um, in the background because it was so dark and because I got there so late. Um, didn't really get to show much. So we're gonna see what else is going on there at that event. It's the 2017 Hudson Valley Balloon Festival. All right, here we are again. Man, look at all the cars already leaving. That is not a good sign. 7.30 in the morning and uh, a lot of cars already on this road. That's unusual traffic for this area. So that means that most of the balloons are probably have taken off already. But uh, we're already over here, so let's go check it out anyway. Looks like we got here just in time to see one of the balloons take off. There it is, right back there. Just spoke to a guy and he said most of them have already taken off. And he says there's only, looks like there's one left. But let's go, let's go look anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so once again, I missed all balloon launches. They still got the one that's tethered over here, but check this out, look at what you could do. If you want to spend a lot of money, it definitely looks like it's worth it though. You can go on a tethered balloon ride for 20 bucks. A helicopter ride for 50 bucks. That doesn't seem like a bad deal, $50 for a helicopter ride. Or you could do an actual balloon ride for $225. So you actually go up in the balloon, you're up there for like two hours, they fly far, far away, and then they send a chase car <laughs> to go out and get you. So I, I don't know where these things end up landing. I guess they end up landing in some fields or wherever they find, but uh, that sounds pretty cool. But I don't have $225 to spend, so I uh, won't be doing that. They got one of those baskets over here from the balloons. Yeah. Not tied up to anything, but gives you an idea how big they are. I was in one on uh, Friday. That was pretty cool. The people invited me right into their uh, balloon. That was awesome. Okay, they got a huge line here for that tethered balloon ride. And look at this thing. It's pretty awesome. 20 bucks, you get to ride up there. It's tethered to the ground, so you're coming back down. Same spot. Looked like it was about a five minute ride. These guys look like they're getting another balloon ready. Maybe for later today. Look at all of the hot air balloons over here. 
time, 7.55 on a Sunday. Jimmy Lyles with you. It's as if I became Alice in Alice in Wonderland and grew all of a sudden. I'm just kidding. Just souvenirs. We were here the other day. We did the uh, fresh apple cider donuts. Definitely a staple of the place. So uh, today's no different. I definitely got to get one of these before I leave. 80 cents a donut, so we're just going to grab one. Got my dollar, ordered my donut. Look at all the donuts back there. These things are so good. I love these things. I had one on Friday. And uh, after this one, I got to wait until like September, October to have another one. No one makes them like these guys do. Thank you. All right, let's go see what this thing is. I love these things. Just a try and see what we can do. Oh yeah! That's the ticket! Nice shot! Alright, that's it. Alright. These guys said nice job. They know I'm the champion. <laughs> Champ. I love those old shooting galleries. That was awesome. Oh, they got one of these guys over here too. They got those uh, one of those guys that carves uh, with a chainsaw. I don't know, you know, bears on a wood and stuff like that. Doesn't look like anyone's over here right now, but look how talented this person is that does this. Look at this. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. Looks like this one's a work in progress. You don't even keep that collection. You can just put that up. That's someone who is very talented. Huh? Any llamas? I don't see llamas. Look at all the benches, the dragonflies, bears. They got a parrot over here. And I like this horse one. That thing's awesome. People amaze me at their different talents. All right, we're getting closer. We're almost up to the parking lot again. Third time this week, second time today. But uh, we should see some hotter balloons today. Not just that one. Looks like this time, I'm parking all the way to the back. Oh my God. I've never seen people park this far back before. All right, this time I'm in and I paid admission. All right, hopefully we get to see some balloons. All right, big difference from this morning. This morning, it was like a ghost town here. There was nobody, almost nobody. Now, the place is jam-packed. The bands are here, the animals are awake over there. And uh, this might as well be the fair. There's so many people here, it's insane. Look at the lines. We're gonna get a lemonade. You might have an hour wait. It is definitely busy here today. They're definitely making some money. Holy smokes. This one too over here. They're all crazy busy. I guess that's a good thing. We walked through this area earlier. Remember we walked right through here. But no problem. Definitely a lot more people over there this time. They always say a day late and a dollar short. Helicopter rides are 50 bucks. Unfortunately, they're sold out. So if that's something you're interested in doing and you're coming next year, pay in advance because you're not getting it next year. Make sure you buy the tickets in advance. So it's, uh, it ain't happening. Kind of crazy being here in the summertime, not used to this. Usually I'm here in the fall, so I've never been here. But uh, these vines here, all grapes. So when you come here in the fall, you just pick a couple grapes off and uh, chew on them as you uh, walk through, it's pretty cool. This place is seriously like the Six Flags of Apple Orchards. They got about a billion things to do here. And uh, 
it's crazy because we're about an hour and a half from New York City and I've met more people here from New York City than from the local area and it shows you how, how far people are traveling just to come here the place is intense I mean they really Pedal carts here, pedal cart track. And then over here they have a impossible rope maze because you cannot tell <laughs> the difference between sections. Look at these people. You have absolutely no idea because everything looks exactly the same. I love this maze. July now so in a couple months I will be right over here again and these apples will definitely not be the size of this right now they're almost the size of golf balls I would say right now they're close to the size of ping pong balls but a couple more months come September October you will be trying to get apples from up there because all these apples will be gone because everybody always picks the apples that you could get I always see uh, people climbing trees and then you could rent something to pick the apples at the top of the tree but uh all kinds of apples here oh man you guys remember these i didn't even know they existed anywhere these things still exist this one's look like they're just walking around at this point trying to find things to do trying to waste some time until those balloons go off it's 557 now but uh judging from last uh last night no friday friday night when i was here they didn't put the fireworks off on time, so they didn't go off at 9 o'clock. I don't think they went off to almost uh, 9.45. So if they do the same thing today, I'm going to have another 45 minutes to go. So just looking around, trying to find something to do, trying to waste a little time until those uh, balloons are ready to go. It looks like some of the teams are starting to put their balloons out. And uh, I've seen this one before over here. This one's pretty awesome. All right, so I was talking to this gentleman back here. They're getting that uh, turtle balloon ready. The uh, balloon's name is Pokey. So I was asking him a couple questions. He was telling me I was correct. It is propane. And all this material right here, the skirt, which is the outer part of the uh, part of the balloon on the bottom, is all flame retardant material. It's the same material that firefighters use, so that can't catch on fire. However, the rest of that is nylon. That's pretty cool. These guys are getting this ready. I can't wait to see this one. Um, up and running. It's going to be pretty cool.
that was pretty much the process. We're gonna try to speed that video up and uh, how to blow up a higher hot air balloon. I don't know, I would say it took 10 minutes, so uh, we're definitely gonna have to figure that out. And uh, he is tilting quite a bit. Kind of disappointing. It was nice to see them put it up for a second, but coming back down, too much wind. So uh, the little bit of the little bit of slightly sli well, can't talk. The slightest bit of wind really affects these things. So they're gonna keep it grounded and keep the rest of them grounded until the wind dies down. And they got these trading cards of all the uh, hot air balloons they have, and Pokey. That's the one we were just looking at that they blew up and then they deflated. And then last night. He watched it from last night. This is the one we saw last night, Pico. So, uh, pretty cool. Those are, I think, actually the uh, most unique balloons that are uh, out of all these, and we happen to see those two. So it's kind of cool. Hopefully, uh, they lift these things off. All right, not sure what's going on. They got the one balloon all blown up a second time. Hopefully, they get these guys uh, up in the air. It's getting kind of late, 7:30 on Sunday. I'd like to see these things go up. It'd be awesome. Looks good to me. Uh, pokey, pokey, pokey. What are we doing? Are we taking off? We may have some news here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Barton and the Hudson Valley Balloon Festival. Uh, as Sunday night grows around, we've had a wonderful weekend weather-wise. We've had balloons up morning, afternoon, and night. So um, what's really transpired tonight is the winds just have not come off. We need less than 10 mile an hour. They keep gusting up to 12 to 15. Uh, we put Pokey up. You can see he's getting knocked around pretty good. Um, so, and now we're running out of daylight. So we have to be on the ground by legal sundown, which is around 825. So it doesn't really give us enough chance to really get out and fly and land safely. And for our passengers, it gives them a short flight, which isn't fair to the passengers, and we surely don't want to do that, nor do we want to put any of them at risk. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the flag over here. The code reads, if it's a red flag, no flight, we're sorry. We're going to change it to no flight. As of now, the field will be closed to all the balloonists. So Roger has made the decision that the balloonists will not be allowed to fly out of this facility. This is pretty cool. I didn't notice this earlier, but right here, it tells you green, it's a go. Yellow, we saw that iffy. And red, that's what we went to, no flight. You know, it figures that I made it here <laughs> a second time today and then uh, they're not gonna fly. They changed the flag over here to red. So uh, no more flight. So uh, they blew up the one balloon, they tried it out. They said it was going all over the place. Has to be under 10 miles an hour to uh, fly and the wind is staying, I guess, 10 to 15. So uh, too much wind equals no flight. So uh, red flag. I think I'm gonna give it a green flag to go get some to eat. All right, I picked out my food. What do you guys think I got? I'm gonna eat this and then I think it's time to conclude the day here. All right, here it comes. What is it? Ooh, look at that. Curry, chicken, macaroni and cheese, and rice and beans. First time trying curry chicken. Hopefully it's not too spicy. All right guys, a little disappointment today. No balloon flights, but uh, had a good day, had fun. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.